And hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Drake Vandals here for another episode of Drake Plays for Long Dark. This is episode 11, and it's time. I spent a, at least an hour, and just over an hour, I think, um, gathering supplies, sorting everything out, getting uh, getting ready. Uh, we're going to uh, we're going to make the move. We're going to head over to the dam, and We've taken some supplies with us, some water. Um, we've managed to make deer skin boots. And now we are heading over to uh, the dam and going to attempt to move into Pleasant Valley uh, via the Winding River. First, head, we'll head out. We'll try to get there as soon as we can. Um, what I probably will do here, uh, no, actually, we'll carry on as it is. Uh, I've made some supplies, some lichen bandages. Um, we've gathered up whatever necessary supplies. We got the full, like in the tools. We got the survival bow. We got the hunting rifle, rifle kit. Um, oh. That's something I forgot to put away, is for simple tools. Uh, I want to leave at least one box of simple tools. We've got like three boxes back at the dam. Um, so we'll put this back. We'll put the simple tools back, head over. Uh, we've grabbed all our snares in the event that we uh, find a place to stay some wood but we'll probably gather it in the event that we need to because as far as I remember there's not that many places to stay once you enter Pleasant Valley uh, not immediately because sometimes you might have to get to that location uh, minus six degrees get a torch going We've got about 12 hours of daylight left, and it looks like fairly good weather right now, so that's good. That's good so far. We'll head down to Carter Hydroelectric Dam, uh, put a fire up, gather what we need, grab that sleeping bag, um, and then we'll carry on. We will be over. We will. Yeah, we will be encumbered because I wanted to bring some basic supplies with us in the event that we can't actually find a decent home base. So we'll be, we will be lugging around a lot of kit with us, but we won't. Uh, we do have a rifle now, which is actually what I should do is reload this. We now have 28 bullets that we have collected in the Mystery Lake alone. Um, the one thing I haven't got is any arrows for my survival bow, so what we'll probably do, I know I left some birch saplings in the dam itself, so I'll probably make some at the dam and, s and then move on to Pleasant Valley. Um, because we have a survival bow, it means a lot to us. It means we can potentially save a lot of ammo, and also we can reliably go after small game. Because there's not really that many... Um, because if you use a hunting rifle on a rabbit, it will just blow it apart. Um, it will not save much on the meat. And it's a big waste to use a hunting rifle on a rabbit anyway. So you're better off using snares or a hunting bow to get the maximum meat at meat and um, hide off them. Um, but it's the same with anything, really. It's the same with the... Uh, oh. Let's try and get past this wolfie here. Oh, stamina recharge a bit.
I might have to shoot this wolf. I don't really want to. Shit. Fuck it. Well, at least we have some wolf meat. That's burnt out. We're tired, we're cold. So, it, the dam's not too far away, so... The weather's starting to get a bit worse. We're fighting against the wind as well, so we're slower. Reload that. I really didn't want to use an extra a, a bullet on it, but had no choice. I'm contemplating as well bringing the wolf pelt at the dam with us, and then curing it as we're waiting. So that way, if we kill any further wolves, we'll be have we'll have the extra hide on us. The problem is, it's carrying the hide around, and hides are rather heavy. Hides, pelts, that sort of thing, they're just, they're heavy to carry around. And we're already carrying quite a bit of kit around with us anyway. So I don't know, I mean, we might be able to get to Pleasant Valley in this episode. If we can't, it'll be in the next episode. I might actually just cut it at the um, next opportunity once we get inside the dam itself. Oh, fuck off. Ah. Okay, so we're gonna have a lot of wolf meat on our hands. Can't sprint. Uh, it's warmer now with the uh, stuff we've got. I might actually cut, uh, do a cut, jump cut here, and uh, we'll probably gather up because with the hides as well, I don't really want to stay any more longer than what I'd like. I mean, this is what this game does to you. It will throw you resources, causing you to stay in this region longer. And you'll have to make a choice. Do you leave it and come back to it? Or do you take it with you? Because if you take it with you, it's very beneficial to have, but it's lugging all that stuff around. You're going to be slow, you're going to be using up a lot more resources in doing so, and so it's a kind of, you have to outweigh the, the options here. I mean, for example, I didn't want to use any bullets until I got to Pleasant Valley, and I've already used two on wolves. Because I didn't have any flares to ward them off. So yeah, I'm gonna cut it here um, when we get inside the dam, and I'm gonna uh, sort out my situation, cook all this meat, and figure out what I'm gonna do. 
Uh, so I'll see you shortly. And I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. So after much consideration, I've decided that I am not going to take any of the. Um, I'm not going to take any of the wolf hides with me. I have stayed up behind a few days just to recover. And what I am going to do is I'm going to take most of the snack food with me because it's lighter. Um, I do have a hot cup of coffee, so... Now I'm going to try and get to... Uh, so yeah, we're warming up and we've got fatigue reduced, so... And we also got a spare cup of coffee just in case. Uh, I'll have to gather, s gather some... Uh, we have some food left over just in case. Uh, I'm contemplating... We'll take that. And we'll take that. We'll leave one of them here. Okay. We'll take one of the simple tools with us. All of the birch sapling we can take. All the cured gut. What's our weight like? Still, uh, we can sprint, but not very well. So it's going to be a slow ride, and we might actually have to take a break in between. Okay. So we're going to have to go down to Winding River find our way down to the dam and then make our way through the and then apparently there's a cave not too far in the winding river that we can navigate through Actually, just out of curiosity, is there anything in these pipes? No. I know there was one in that other pipe over there, but we'll probably come back to that later. S I, I, no honesty, I have a suspicious feeling we'll search it and there's nothing inside it. So. So we've got about 20 minutes to do this, so. Let's hope uh, we don't drag it on too long. I think that is a death zone there if you fall in there. Not sure, I don't really want to try it right now. Since if you die it deletes your save, or your last save. There are sometimes walls down here. I know that much. There's a rabbit over there. I'll put this out. What is it like? One degree. So we don't need to worry too much. anything behind here? No. We'll continue down the river. See what we can find. Have our rifle ready. Now looking at the road map apparently they will be adding in another weapon, weapon at some point uh, which is the revolver and I'm actually eagerly awaiting that because if you can carry a revolver it's a smaller lighter weapon and for one I mean this rifle is very heavy it's about 10 kilograms 
to just carry it in comparison to other weapons like the survival bow there's another weapon which you can only find at um, Timberwolf Mountain and that's the uh, the flat the I think it's the distress pistol so I hear oh it's a rabbit never mind I just want to check down here because there's a cave and I've uh, some old mines like and we can scavenge because uh, we didn't check this cave before and I do see something in there some more food perhaps yep some more food burnt out campfire nothing we've got some more food and accelerant apparently some people are saying or from what I've read there are certain locations where you find burnt out campfires there's a possibility of you running into NPC play, um, NPCs when they actually add in those elements in the next update so if you find a burnt out campfire there's a possibility of encountering an NPC um, there and by NPC I mean like an actual character or um, a character that could be featured in the story mode from what I understand I'll grab some of these cattails Ooh, and some rose hips eight rose hips that should be enough to make well I should have enough to make some rose hip tea have a next opportunity I might depending on how much memory space I have I might actually make another episode immediately after this um, as we enter because looking at the time it looks like I might not be able to get I'll probably be able to get to Pleasant Valley, but I probably won't be able to record much into it in this episode. I suppose we've just got to keep going, really. Just check down here because sometimes there's uh, some supplies. See the firewood. Mm, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Grab a stick so we can make a fire. that I see something on that rock there I don't know if that's just a piece of geometry sticking out or not yeah, it looks like just a piece of geometry okay I think that's where we need to go but I just want to double check down here and see if there's no supplies we haven't missed it's always best to check every nook and cranny to make sure that you haven't missed anything Doesn't seem to be anything else down here. Managed to grab some cattails, but that's about it. So I had some kindling and some food. Uh, we're pretty we're pretty decent on food and first. I might actually make this episode a little bit longer, but I don't know. We'll see.
yeah, we're now so full we can't run, so when we get out on the other side, I might just make a fire and cook some cook some stuff up, leave winding river. We're entering the cave system now. Carter Hydro Dam's cave system. And there's a reason why I picked up a few of those sticks back there. There's a deer here. Nothing. Sometimes you can find coal in these caves. Sometimes. Okay. So this is how I do it. I drop a single stick, and where it points is typically where I last went. Yeah, here we go, we found some coal. And it's getting pretty dark, so... And dead end, of course. We're already getting heavier and heavier. At least now I know that's a dead end, so... We'll continue on down here. What's that? It's another lump of coal. I'll try to grab the coal wherever I can, really, because sometimes it's quite handy to have. Although, you can't use it almost immediately. You have to let the fire warm up sufficiently enough before you can actually add any. I don't like those sounds I keep hearing. Uh. Right. I'm gonna head down here and drop one stick. <sighs> Drink some sodas. Get our hunger and first back up a bit. Okay, and dead end. I'll leave the coal there because I can always grab it on the way back out if we ever, should we ever, and we probably will do, come back this way. to a light source no cavern area sometimes yep as I thought there's a f burnt out fire here and some supplies another bedroll suppose what we can do is make a fire here As you can see, we're now 100% with cardboard matches, so we don't need to worry about that anymore. I do not like hearing those noises. <coughs> so usually when I try to do a recording, I try to do at least three episodes at a time. Um,
Um, I'll heat up these talking beans and see what they're low condition. And eating low condition food is somewhat dangerous because you could get food poisoning from it. I'm hoping we don't. But if we do, actually, did I? Oh, that's a good thing. There's a bed while we're in. No, we're good. Condensed milk. I mean, we're carrying quite a lot of heavy, f heavy gear with us here. We're 46 kilos overweight. So, how's our free holster that? Take another torch. We'll leave that there because we can always come back with that. That's where we came. I want to see. What is it? No, it's no. Yeah, it's definitely where we came. I'm gonna put a stick down here. So I know we haven't explored that second heart, second part of the cave. More firewood. Cedar, cedar, cedar. I'm gonna leave that there. Cause we can come back and grab it should we need it if we ever need to crash in this cave. Still can't sprint. This was so damn heavy. Anything over here? Another light at the end of the tunnel. I think this may be it. I think. There's a certain eeriness about walking through these caves. You don't quite know what's inside of them. Yep, there's the light at the end of the tunnel. <sighs> oh, Jesus. And welcome to Pleasant Valley. Can't really see much with this storm in the way. Looks like we're going to have to head back inside. So yeah, and with that, I'm sorry to leave you on a cliffhanger, but with that, I'm afraid we're out of time. So I'll see you on the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, where we finally explore Pleasant Valley. Ta-ta!